Hi everyone, I've just put the iOS 12 developer preview on an iPhone 10 and I want to run you through some of my first impressions, what it's like to use the new interface and a couple of new features. Now bear in mind, this is a developer version and things are likely to change between now and the final release. So let's unlock the phone and get started. So I've unlocked the phone. The first thing I'm going to do is start a quick screen recording just so you can see a nice clean view of what I'm doing hence the red icon up here. So you'll see that iOS 12 has a brand new wallpaper. This is the default wallpaper. If you decide to choose to put it on your phone, it's gonna look like this with the gradients of the red to the blue. This is the first time that I have opened iOS 12, so bear with me here. You're gonna go through this just as I'm experiencing it. First thing I wanna try is the app switcher. So I've been using the iPhone 10 with iOS 11 and previously when I wanted to actually close an app from the app switcher I'd have to press and hold on the actual app in the switcher and then hit the little X to actually toggle out of the app. Now you'll notice that that doesn't work when I do that. So if I'm going through the app switcher and I want to switch out of an app all I'll need to do just to close it is to swipe up like that which is a feature that anyone who is not using an iPhone 10 will be well aware of. So now I'm gonna try something fun and make my own Memoji. So let's get started. Okay, that doesn't look like I think I look, but that's okay, I can totally go customize things. Let's see. Oh, we have something with bangs, there we go. Nice, nice little hairstyle there. But there are a lot of different options here. There are a couple of highlights. Oh, that's kind of neat. You can add a little bit of a highlight option. Eyes green just gonna speed through this and do a really quick one there we go I'm gonna come back and refine this brows nose and lips ears facial hair so you can get really granular here there are a lot of different customization options okay so there we go I've completed it and now I'm talking to you in iOS 12 with my brand new Memoji so I'm gonna start recording and now it looks like I can choose around 30 seconds, whereas the previous Animojis, I believe, were around 10 seconds. So there we go. Hi. And there's the tongue detection at work. That's quite fun. All right, speaking of all things face, there is now the option to actually add a second face to your Face ID. So I've just opened up the Settings app and we're gonna go and try and find this. Face ID and passcode, okay. Let's see if I can find where we do the second face. Set up an alternate appearance here. So in addition to continuously learning about how you look, Face ID can recognize an alternate appearance. This is pretty good because sometimes when I have my hair tied up or have sunglasses on, it doesn't necessarily recognize me. So being able to set up a second appearance for Face ID is pretty useful or alternatively adding a second face altogether if you want someone else to be able to unlock your phone. Also in the settings, let's take a look at some of the big new features in iOS 12, including do not disturb and screen time. So let's start with screen time first. This is the first time that I've opened this app, so I don't really think that it's gonna give me any data on how much I've used my phone yet. Oh, actually, I was incorrect. Here we go, it's giving me an idea of how long I've used my phone. So I've spent six minutes in settings, three minutes in messages, two minutes in Chrome, and four minutes elsewhere and I've been using it for one hour and 32 minutes today, approximately 31 minutes above my average time, which is kind of scary given that it's still early in the morning. I can also set some app limits. So obviously if I'm using an app like Instagram, Twitter, so on and so forth, far too much, I can go through and I can choose that. So let's see. Social networking apps, so it looks like it's categorizing them all in one. So if I'm using social networking apps for more than an hour, it's gonna give me a little notification. There we go, so I've set that up for one hour. Let's see how well I stick to that. And then I can always do the always allowed, so these are the apps that I want to be able to use at all times. So in this example, it's by default set up messages and FaceTime to come through during downtime. But for example, if I wanted to add another thing like a notification from a third party messaging app, perhaps I could also add that in too. So you can just drag it or remove it in as you like. 
Now let's try the iOS 12 notifications grouping. I want to see what that looks like. So in iOS 12, one of the big changes is grouped notifications on the home screen. Rather than getting a huge stream of notifications, you now get them all bunched up together by sender and type. So for example, you get emails and text messages like so. Like before, you could swipe across and open them if you like, or you can also swipe this way. Instead of just clear all and view, you now get this option called manage. So it opens a dialog like this, and it gives me the option to either deliver them quietly or I can turn them off altogether. And that essentially shows, it just switched off. Let's open that again. So quiet notifications will appear in the notification center and badge the app icon, but will not appear on the lock screen, present banners or play a sound. So I can turn that to deliver quietly and see what that does. That essentially it delivers it, but it doesn't put it on the actual lock screen itself. So that's a nice feature to kind of clear up that mess on your lock screen. So now I'm gonna take a look at some of the new apps in iOS 12, including the Measure app here. So I have a MacBook Pro sitting in front of me. I'm just gonna calibrate the phone like so. It says move iPhone to start. Okay, here we go. So it looks like it's ready to go. I have a plus icon here and a point on the screen. I'm guessing that's where I'm gonna have to start placing the point by pressing the plus icon moving it across like so, pressing it again to end that line, and it's giving me the measurement of one of the sides of the MacBook. There you go. Now for something fun I really wanna try is making a FaceTime call with Memoji. FaceTime's had a couple of different updates, including 32 person FaceTime calls, which I'm not gonna try now, but I am gonna try the Memoji. Oh, it looks like there's this new icon here. Hi, what's up? I'm going to try Memojiing you. Um, okay, let's try this. I'm going to tap into the Animoji tab, tap into my Memoji. Oh, hey! There it is. Yeah, what do you think? You like? You like? It looks good. It looks solid. And I got my tongue sticking out to you. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, that's a lot of fun. That is active in the iOS 12 developer beta right now. So you can have fun with that. Finally, let's go to Siri shortcuts. Now this is kind of to make Siri do a little bit more than just your stock standard um, weather directions and all of that. So I'm gonna try and find that within the settings. So I'm gonna to go to settings, Siri and search. And then this new tab called shortcuts pops up. So it's kind of looking at the things that I've recently done, which is like starting a video call, for example. So if I wanna try and do that as a shortcut, it looks like I can just tap that plus icon. And then if I wanna start a video call, I can then basically record a personalized phrase and it will do that. So mm, let's think of something fun to say. Um, make lunch for Nick. Okay, so when I say that, that's gonna start a FaceTime call. All right, let's, let's try it now. Make lunch for Nick. And there we go, it's calling FaceTime. And then I can add my emoji again, like so. That's pretty fun. <laughs> Hi. What? I just asked to make lunch in a Siri shortcut and it called you, cause it's lunchtime. Yeah, well, we should go eat lunch. All right, later. <laughs> so that's the first run through iOS 12 that I've taken. If you have any questions about what is in iOS 12, please leave me a comment below. There are lots of different features that I didn't get a chance to touch on, including some of the photo stuff. So stay tuned to CNET. We'll have lots more coverage on iOS 12 coming up soon. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell.